Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the center and the radius of a circle um, when given an equation in standard form. And you can see that um, pre in our previous video, we found the center and the radius when we were given an equation that was in a format like this. And it was pretty basic to find the center and the radius. We just had to find h and k and then find the radius. And, you know, it was kind of minimal math was needed. However, if you look at these two equations, we don't really have a way to see h and k nor even r. So what we have to do is we have to do some manipulation. And one important thing of noticing about this equation of a circle is that we have binomial squared. We have x minus h squared, y minus k squared. Whereas these, we just have the x squared and the y squared, right? We don't have a binomial squared. Um, in parentheses, you know, x minus something, y minus something, and then that squared. So that's what we want to create. We need to create a binomial squared. To do that, we need to create a perfect square trinomial. And the process of taking an equation or an expression and creating a perfect square trinomial that can be factored down to a binomial squared is called completing the square. Now, the first process in completing the square, kind of notice that we have x and y's, right? So what I'm going to do is we're going to complete the square. And I'm basically going to um, group the x's together and group the y's together, and then put r over to the right-hand side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 1 here on both sides. And I have x squared plus 2x plus y squared equals 3. Now I'm going to want to group my these together. And I'm just going to kind of draw like this. Just put some kind of parentheses around there. Because basically what I want to do for the x's and for the y's, I need to create a um, perfect square trinomial. Now there is a little caveat to that. I don't have anything with this y squared, right? Um, and actually, so since I'm not y minus, since there's no other term, I can actually create a perfect square trinomial pretty easily. And I'll show you what, it, what I mean by that, or a binomial squared. However, for this, I have this 2x. So I need to somehow rewrite x squared plus 2x as a perfect square trinomial. And the process, again, as I mentioned, is completing the square. To do that, we're going to take b divided by 2 and square it. Well, if you remember, b comes from a x squared plus bx plus c, where b is your coefficient of your linear term. So we're going to look at, down my second equation, notice that b is 2. So therefore, I get 2 divided by 2 squared. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Now I'm going to take that 1, and I'm going to insert it inside this parentheses. So now I have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus I have this y squared. I don't really need the parentheses, so I'm just going to leave that out there, equals 3. Now, since I added a 1 to the left side of the equation, I have to make sure I add a 1 to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to add a 1 over there. Now I have created a perfect square trinomial. By completing the square, I've, by finding the value c that completes the square, I now have created a perfect square trinomial. Now all I need to do is factor this down to a binomial squared. And you can basically just ask yourself, you know, what two numbers multiply to give you 1, add to give you 2? Well, that is x plus 1 times x plus 1, which is the same expression multiplied by itself. So we write it as a binomial squared. Okay. Now, again, you might say, well, all right, so you did x, that's great, but you didn't do y. Well, remember, when we just have a y squared by itself, uh, we can just rewrite it. We can just rewrite k as 0. So I can write this as x plus 1 squared plus y plus 0, or y, oops, yeah, y plus 0, or minus 0, doesn't really matter, squared equals 4. So therefore, actually, the value of k, or the y coordinate of the center of the circle, is 0. So when I'm finding my center, remember it's x minus negative 1, or k, so it, or h, x minus h. Uh, that, I'm sorry. So we can rewrite that as x minus negative 1. So really, x minus h, so h is negative 1. So therefore, I have negative 1 comma 0. Uh, my radius, 4, is equal to r squared. That means my radius is equal to 2. All right, in the next example, you can see how this grouping that I did in the last, in the last uh, example can be really helpful. I have numbers all over the place, right? So again, I want to group the x's and group the y's. So I'm just going to do a little work here. I'm going to subtract my 4. And I'm going to have, let's see, x squared minus 6x 
and then plus y squared minus 4y equals negative 4. OK, so now again, just like I did before, now I have x's and I have y's. Excuse me, so I'm going to have to complete the square twice. I'm going to have to complete the square for the x's and complete the square of the y's to both produce perfect square trinomials. So the b in this example is negative 6. So I take negative 6, divide it by 2, and square it. That equals 9. Over here, I'm going to take negative 4, divide it by 2, and square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. So I'm going to take both those values, add them inside the parentheses, but then also add them to the other side. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals negative 4 plus 9 plus 4. Okay. Now, again, I have produced two perfect square trinomials. And when you get into completing square, you really, really got to get good at factoring down perfect square trinomials. They should, by the time you're done, be very apparent and be able to factor them down very quickly. I know a lot of students, this is still kind of the beginning of the completing the square, um, still hasn't really sank in for a lot of students. So I'm just going to write it out as two binomials multiplied by each other. So therefore, you can see. Okay, but you really should get quick and, and fast with the factoring, especially when we know it's factorable and it's a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, I have x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2. Oops, I'm sorry. Why did I write those as x's? y minus 2 squared equals 9. So therefore, the center, oh, let's rewrite this again. I didn't do it for that one. So remember, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Remember, x minus 3, x minus h, h is equal to 3. y minus k, y minus 2, k is equal to 2, right? So it's the opposite. Remember that. So therefore, my center is 3 comma 2. And my radius is r squared equals 9, so therefore r equals 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the center and the radius of a circle by completing the square. Thanks.